What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you or take you through on how to copy files and directory from the local system to EC2 instance and vice versa using SCP. So basically SCP stands for secure copy protocol and SCP is a means of securely transferring computer files between a local host and a remote host or it can be two remote host, right? So it can be between two remote host. So ideally SCP uses the same underlying protocols as SSH, right? So let's get started. So here uh, we are going to create a new instance uh, followed by we will login into that instance and then uh, we will use SCP to upload and download the file to the EC2 instance from our local system, right? So let's get started. So navigate to EC2 management console first and then uh, once you are there, click on launch instance. Here we are going to use Ubuntu server 18.04 so select that instance here within instance type we will say t2 micro we will leave instance details as it is say next also leave storage as it is uh, that is 8 gb say next tags add a tag if you want then click on configure security group here i will select an existing security group right so Ideally here we will only require uh, port number 22 and that's it, right? So we will not require any other port over here. So select the security group and by default it will have port 22 open, right? And then finally click on review and launch and say launch. Now here you can choose an existing key pair or also you can say create a new pair. Right, so give a pad name and you can download that key pair file. Uh, but I already have the key pair file. So I will say choose an existing key pair. So I will select flask, I acknowledge and say launch instance. Now in case you are downloading the new key pair file, so make sure uh, you execute this command. So you have to change the permission saying ch mode 400 followed by your PEM file that you have downloaded. So in my case, it's flash.pem. So you have to execute this command in order to successfully log in into the EC2 instance, right? So make sure uh, you have assigned or given correct permission to your PEM file. So now we have the instance up and running. So we will use public DNS basically. So copy that. So I have two terminals open. I will SSH into an instance from one terminal and we will use another terminal to uh, execute SCP command, right? So I will say SSH hyphen I that stands for identity file. So here our identity file is flash.pem followed by the username. So that's going to be Ubuntu in my case. In case you are using Linux, then it will be EC2 hyphen user instead of Ubuntu followed by the public DNS or it can be the public IP also, right? And say enter. Say yes. Now here we have successfully logged in into the EC2 instance, right? So here we don't have any file, I did just ls. Now here uh, in the second terminal, I will say ls. So here I have only flash.pm, let me create one file, so I will say touch uh, temp.txt right and I will say ls now we have two files that is flash.pm and temp.txt right now we will use uh, scp command or secure copy to upload this file that is temp.txt to our ec2 instance right so that's going to be scp followed by hyphen i again hyphen i stands for identity followed by the identity file so in my case it's flash.pem right followed by the uh, file name so that's going to be tam.txt in my case in case uh, you want to give reference of the file from another directory then you have to mention the full path over here right so right now we are in the same directory that's the reason i had mentioned only tam.txt now 
where we want to copy. So that's going to be username of your EC2 instance. So Ubuntu at the red, your public DNS. So I will paste it simply over here or it can be your public IP, right? It's not necessary that you have to use DNS. You can also use public IP followed by colon, right? Now, uh, if you want to copy this file in some directory, then after colon, you have to uh, mention the path. And if you don't mention the path, then it will directly upload that file within the home directory, right? So right now I will leave it as it is and I will say enter. So as you can see, it has given the indication that tem.txt is being uploaded, right? Now, if I go back to another terminal and say ls, then you can see we have tem.txt over here, right? Now, in case uh, within EC2 instance, if I say mkdir uh, sample, so I'm creating a directory called sample. And now if I want to copy tem.txt to the sample directory, then what I have to do is, so now I'm coming back to uh, the local terminal. So I will say scb i uh, flash.pem followed by the file that I want to copy space followed by the username of the EC2 instance followed by the public DNS or it can be your public IP colon and I will say slash sample. So I want to copy tem.txt within sample directory which resides on the EC2 instance, right? So I will say enter. So it says permission denied. Uh, maybe we need to put forward slash at the end. Oops. Maybe it will go something like this. That sample call. So now as you can see, uh, the tem.txt is being copied to the sample directory. Now if I say sample, cd sample on the EC2 instance and if I do ls, then it says tem.txt, right? So this is how you can uh, copy your file to the given directory or to the home directory, right? Now uh, I want to download the sample directory or maybe uh, let's download tem.txt back first and then uh, we will look into the directories, right? So what I will do is I will remove tem.txt from here. So that's local again, right? And now, and now if I do ls, uh, we have only one file that is flash.pem, right? Now uh, downloading is uh, quite simple. Uh, it is similar to how we uploaded, right? So all we have to do the exchange, right? So now tem.txt. So let me write it from scratch. So I will say cp hyphen i followed by the pm file that is identity file. Now from where I want to copy. So it's from EC2 instance. So that's going to be Ubuntu at the rate your public DNS, right? followed by colon and what I want to copy that is temp.txt right where I want to copy on the local system in the current directory. So I will say dot and say enter. So now we have the indication that temp.txt is being downloaded and now if I do ls then we will have two files that is class.pem and temp.txt right. Now let's talk about the directory. Now, uh, if I simply try to download the directory from EC2 instance, uh, saying instead of tem.txt, if I say sample and say enter, then it will say SCP sample, not a regular file, right? So it's saying it's not a file, basically it's a directory, right? So for that, we have to mention a, a parameter saying hyphen R Right, so that stands for recursive, recursive copy. And now if I say enter, then it will download 
uh, the directory from the remote system that is from EC2 instance to the local. And now if I do ls, then we have sample as a directory. Now if I do cd sample and say ls, then we will have the tem.txt file as well within the sample directory, right? So this is how uh, you can download the directory. And now if I want to upload the directory, then again, it's similar. Let me remove the sample directory from EC2 instance. So it's going to be scp-i flash.pm followed by hyphen r. So what I want to copy that is sample, right? And where I want to copy in the home directory, right? And if I say enter, and it's successful. Now if I go ahead and say ls, then we will have sample directory back within EC2 instance, right? So basically this is how you can upload and download a file as well as directory using secure copy uh, from your local system to the remote system using PEM file, right? So for more information on the SCP command, you can check out the docs with the man SCP command. So just type in man scp and it will give you the full documentation and you can go through it to learn more about the scp command right so well uh, that's all i wanted to cover in this tutorial right and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time